Ciao everyone, uh, I am Johannes Kablefelila. I am originally from Ethiopia. I uh, recently graduated from the master's program in computer science from University of Pisa. And I, also, I was also fortunate enough to have been selected for Investor Talent Scholarship here in Italy. <clears throat> and I'm really excited my journey uh, and my time throughout uh, pursuing my master's degree here in Pisa. And I wanted to share uh, my experience with you and I hope that you will learn a lot from this video. Thanks. Right after I completed my bachelor degree, I had an opportunity to work as academic and uh, research assistant. And uh, back then, I had um, an, an interest in um, to study further in computer science. And uh, especially uh, during that time, this was back in 2020. And uh, I, I was uh, interested in the development of uh, computer science, the new technologies that are being introduced was something that I wanted to uh, study more and explore more, especially in the field of AI. And uh, so I was looking for the universities that uh, provide this kind of uh, courses uh, in computer science, especially uh, in AI areas. And uh, I found about uh, University of Pisa through online search. And uh, I was really uh, excited that I found a university that exactly provides uh, what I was looking for. So I applied uh, to the University of Pisa. Uh, and at the same time, I also have to find a way to fund my studies because I have to pay the tuition fee and also I have to cover my um, my own expenses uh, and also doing this kind of research sort of like a scholarship that provides um, a fund for students for international students and I was excited to find out that um, this scholarship is for uh, for a student like me who wanted to study in um, Italian universities and uh, and this scholarship is for master's program uh, and also one year uh, postgraduate degree and it will cover everything for you. You will get um, a free tuition, so the free tu tuition will be covered, and also you will get a monthly stipend of 900 euros per month. So everything is included. It was really exciting for me because uh, I don't have to pay anything. In addition of that, there, uh, there are other benefits that you will also get. The first semester, you will get a free Italian lesson. So this will be a great opportunity for you to get to know, uh, to get to understand the language also to, to meet a new people and uh, uh, hopefully learn some Italian. And, uh, uh, and other than that, you will also get um, an internship opportunity. So this will be on your first year, during your first year summer period, you have an opportunity to participate in an internship. This will probably last for three months. This will be a great experience for you to get to know the Italian work culture and also to apply what you learned in, um, in school and uh, be able to apply it in a, in a real work environment. So it is also a great opportunity for you even after you graduate. You Okay, now I'm gonna tell you my experience coming to Pisa. So University of Pisa is located in a beautiful city, uh, Pisa. Um, so when I first came here in Pisa, it was during difficult time, everything was, uh, because of COVID, everything was restricted. But uh, even if, uh, during that, the International Office of University of Pisa was really helpful. It was a bit difficult for me to find even a place to, uh, to stay, uh, but the International Office of the University of Pisa helped me to find uh, an accommodation here in Pisa. Um, and as I thought, since everything was online, we had to study uh, remotely. Uh, but even during those times, the, um, the activity or academic activity of University of Pisa was still being carried out remotely so we can participate in an events like uh, getting to know other students. Also, there is um, a hackathon competition where you can participate with other students. And after staying for almost three years now here in Pisa, I would say that University of like Pisa in general is really suitable for students. So it's not that much expensive city compared to the other uh, big city here in Italy. Like, the food is great. Uh, you can uh, you can walk and get. There are many restaurants or like cafes that you can enjoy, uh, and you will meet a lot of students because the University of Pisa is spread around the city. Uh, the every department is spread around the city, and you will go and you will meet new students. So you will get a lot of uh, support from the local community as well. Uh, and overall, that University of Pisa is great, and the city is also. Um, something that we can, um, that you will remember uh, for the rest of your life.
The uh, courses here in Italy or in University of Pisa is uh, they're designed to be more practical. You have to do a, project, a written exam and also you have to do an oral exam to be able to pass the course. So especially back in home, we don't usually do the oral exam. This was something different from different experience uh, from what I have. So uh, even like preparing or studying for oral exam is different from uh, the way that you have to study for a written exam. So in the oral exam, you will be uh, you will be one on one with the professor and the professor asks you about anything on the um, from the course and you have to be able to explain to the professor. Uh, you have to prepare for that kind of exam and I would say that that's the only challenge that I, I, I face but after two or three exams you, you will get used to this kind of exam and I think that you will find, uh, you will find it very helpful and uh, it will help you understand the topic uh, deeper. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope that you, you found this video helpful and I wish you a good luck for your uh, journey to study further education here in Italy or anywhere else so thank you so much.